In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down Roko Praxin. I think I pronounced that one correctly, but he is going to be in this year's NBA draft, and I think he's one of the biggest underrated players in the draft. So let's get down, let's check him out, let's see how good of a player he is, and of course, how you can use his skills to your advantage and incorporate them into your game. First off, the dude can fly. The dude can jump extremely high and can finish around the rim. To be able to do this in game, you are obviously going to need a lot of hip strength, leg strength, but something that is underrated is core strength. Core strength is extremely important to be able to do dunks like this. Now in this next clip, what we see is a screen, a hesitation, then he drives towards the rim, plants, and goes up for a massive dunk. Now, something that is overlooked is his dunk here as well as the hesitation here so really quickly we see the hesitation after this screen the hedger comes out like if they switched and then he does a quick hesitation a lot of weight on his toes on his left foot and then he explodes out now when he goes up for the dunk here something that is extremely important with his footwork happened and that was he planted his left foot and then brought his right foot around on his toes and then pushed up. Obviously if you can dunk this just makes it a little bit easier and more powerful because what you're doing here is you're taking your first step then you're taking your second step but because you are planting that right foot it catches the defender off guard in most cases and because of that obviously that's the footwork that I already explained. Here he goes up with two hands at first to be able to protect that ball against that help defender and then he's able to finish over top while using that left hand to protect the ball. Extremely high level move and anyone who can jump like that is extremely extremely talented and strong. He's also a very good defender as well. He uses a lot of screens. He's able to come off of those screens. He takes massive massive steps and he's able to finish over top of most players most of the time. Now keep in mind he is not just a dunker. He can shoot the ball as well. He can do these jab step backs and he's able to finish those at a very high level. But he really likes to use the defender's momentum against them. Here he has a kick out pass to him he has his defender who was originally playing help coming back out to defend him and he's able to then attack that rim he's able to land after he lands he lands with that negative step that is very important if you see your defender coming out to close out to you and you can land after catching the ball with a negative step that's going to give you a lot of power to be able to push off and attack that rim and especially if everyone is collapsed underneath the rim you can finish above them most of the time it's, uh, obviously if you can dunk. Now this move is very Kobe like a killer crossover dribble towards the middle a nice spin turnaround and shot that is Kobe-esque right there obviously this shot goes in but how do you do this well it's very simple first he does an in and out dribble killer crossover towards the middle of the court next he then backs up he wants to see what this help side defender does in this case now when he does a killer crossover here he attacks the middle dribbles so that his right foot is going to be the gather foot and then he's able to spin off. Now he is about 45-ish degrees away from the rim, or at least degrees pointing away from the rim, but he's a right-handed shooter. What does he have to do? He has to kick that right foot out so that he can get his elbow and shoulder in line with the basketball net, and that is what we see right here, and that's what why he's able to finish with that shot being made. The reason why that shot bounced around the rim, obviously his shot was a bit strong, but because he finished with his elbow being well above his forehead, he is able to then have that arc so that that ball can bounce around that rim and of course go in. More arc, the higher chance the ball is going to bounce around and go in. He can also pass at a very high level too. Here he catches the ball with one hand, players are paying attention to him, and nobody is paying attention to the other side of the court. He is then able to then one-handed pass that through the legs of this guy, which was just absolutely insane. I wouldn't have been that daring. I would have probably bounced it here and probably hit the guy right about here, but he was able to bounce the ball through the guy's legs, five hole, and then of course finish, have that guy finish. That's a very nice, that's a very nice pass. Now in this clip he's up at the free throw line setting a screen for of course a curl 
From there, he has his main player who has double teamed the low post. He's able to see this. He's able to recognize, hey, I've got a I've got a launching pad here. There's nobody guarding me. If my teammate passes me the ball, I can just demolish demolish four players, and that's essentially what he did there. Now in this clip there, the team is playing a 3-2 zone and essentially the same thing happened. He has a launch pad. This guy didn't come over to defend that whatsoever. They're able to set that screen for that corner player. He's able to get that pass and now, look, he has nobody defending him. And when he does attack, he has a weak side player who is cutting down either towards the corner or the basket. He has a couple of different options that he can take, but because... He has such the such of ability to be able to dunk. He's able to post drive so many players. I think he's going to be an insanely good player in the NBA. In this next clip, we see him handling the ball up top using the screen and roll. But because that hedger didn't come out and actually hedge against the shot, he was able to get that shot up and makes it too. He's able to see a lot of really good backdoor cuts, which is really nice to see him as a guard style player, even though he's a bit taller. This is really setting up to be a potential Luka Doncic style player, but somebody with flashier dunk. I really like his shooting form too, because he gets his shoulder, elbow, and ball in line with the basketball net when he's shooting and that makes that shooting triangle and of course anytime you have that shooting triangle you're gonna have a chance of making it he's slightly tilted away from the rim but i will be doing a more further in-depth shooting tutorial on him later on obviously i hope that this video helps you become a better basketball player if it does hit that like button subscribe and i'm really curious to see if he could get into the top 10 in the draft this year i think he could however Probably late first round and whoever gets them is going to be just a ridiculous steal of a draft pick. Go check out all of the equipment that I use down in the description below. Hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys again next time.